Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. This is going to be what are their true intentions, Capricorn. And uh, this is a love reading between you and your person. And I have many oracle cards here, Capricorn, and they are uh, kind of all pointing to the fact that you are going uh, through some type of an awakening or a change. And I feel like it's all to kind of clean house here and maybe declutter your life, right? But not only decluttering, but to, I feel like you are trying to create space for good things in your life, to move forward. Yeah, you are. And right next to cleaning the house, cleaning house is clear your aura, which makes a lot of sense. These cards go hand in hand, right? You could be doing this. Uh, and then we have, of course, I also feel like you are thinking about somebody from your past. We have the clock over here. We have the other woman. Yeah, the other woman with her bare breasts. She's the other woman, you guys. I can't. She's not the nun. Okay, sorry, guys. <laughs> and uh, or whatever, you guys. Or you know, a little a little Bo Peep. No, she's not. She's the other woman with her bare breasts. All right. And uh, she lost more than her sheep. I feel like she did, you guys. But <laughs> but let's get it, uh, into this. Something's eating away at you, and the the mice is next to the thoughts card. Yeah, I feel like this person is kind of eating away at you. This person that you're in love with, and we have also true nourishment and only experience. Yeah, I feel like you are kind of uh, kind of going through an awakening here, but um, it is both spiritual and. Uh, should I say logical? I don't know if that's the right word, not logical, but I feel like you are trying to build your, uh, like, you know, kind of improve your spiritual, like your enlightening, your spiritual uh, being or life, but at the same time, you are trying to also build your practical life. I feel like you are. So let's look at uh, the True Nourishment card, and let's see uh, what it's about. It says, eat the sweet and the sour. The good and the bad. Awareness and non-awareness. Enjoy both and you will be nourished. Mm-hmm. And see, this is kind of like uh, building, building, like, you know, as I was saying, like you are trying to, uh, this talks about, you know, paying attention to your awareness, your spiritual awareness, like understanding what's going on around you. Things that may, may not be, things that are in plain sight, but things that you have to decipher, right? There's a lot of things that are in plain sight that people don't, they still don't get it. They still can't, uh, you know, kind of connect the dots. This is about your spiritual uh, improvements, should I say, but also uh, about your non-awareness. Yeah, and which is, for me, your non-awareness is more talking about your practical life, your job, your, uh, you know, maybe discipline in your life or something like that, right? Your education, your... Maybe a new career that you want. Something like that, right? We need both. Uh, we do. <coughs> this is why we have a left and a right brain, right? Because uh, it is the best combination. And we need both. We do. And uh, this uh, is talking about... Yeah. And this is really interesting here. Yeah, this talks about somebody who... If the true nourishment comes from both. It does. And... Uh, this is what you're doing here. You are trying to utilize uh, everything that could be at your fingertips here in terms of, uh, I would just say your left and your right brain. Yeah, let's leave it at that. And we have only experience. Um, mm -hmm. And that's the problem. People walk around and they don't use their creative mind or their, your creative mind is the same mind as your intuitive mind. This is why the Queen of Cups is about inspiration, I mean, about creativity and intuition both. They are the same, and, you know, I'm not sure if it's the left or the right, I'll be honest about that, but uh, it doesn't really matter, you know, and uh, if you want to improve your spirituality or your intuition or you want to connect a source, consider buying yourself a water filter that uh, a reverse osmosis because it gets rid of the fluoride in your water, and the fluoride is not there because they care about your teeth, all right? If anybody really thinks that they care about your teeth, then, uh, you know, maybe this conversation is, you know, what's the word? Like, totally in vain. Like, <laughs> then I shouldn't be saying it, like, trying to help at all because they don't care about your teeth, guys. So, yeah, those reverse osmosis, uh, I think they're about $300. So let's get back to this here. They've gone down quite a bit. Yeah, they used to be like 900 bucks. So let's get into this card here, Capricorn. Uh, which is uh, number 45, and uh, you don't care about the number. No, you don't. Uh, but let's see, let's see what it has to say for Capricorn. 
Sorry I haven't been uh, sending out any links that I promised you guys, but uh, I just, you know, I, you can't say one thing here, and I don't want any connection. Uh, so you can, if you want to have a great awakening or, uh, you know, if you want to help yourself understand, there's plenty of information on this platform to uh, figure out kind of what's going on. You have to really kind of search for it, all right? So let's see what we have, you guys. Wisdom is the daughter of experience. And Leonardo da Vinci wrote that. Okay. So, you know, in other words, he's saying that, you know, when you experience things, you gain wisdom. Of course. This is why, you know, staying home for your whole life, you'll never learn anything, right? Uh, but, you know, this is what you are doing. I feel like the, this is really, this is a cool reading because you're putting yourself out there or you are, you know, you're putting yourself in a place where you can learn, where you can gain wisdom, uh, and you know that you need to like clear your aura and clean house and get rid of everything that's in your way. This is really interesting because this is very wise itself. Yeah. And you know there is wisdom to gain as well, which is the best way to think, right? People who think they know everything or that they have entirely matured in their life and there's no room for improvement, that is pure ignorance. It is. Okay. So let's get back to this Capricorn. And we have uh, Leslie Marmon here, and she's talking about the community. This is, uh, it could be helping other people, and it could be exiling. Yeah, exiling, like leaving. Mm -hmm. So let's look, uh, let's look at this card, uh, only experience, though. A woman went to a mystic and said, my son eats too many sweets. If you tell him to stop, he will, because he respects you. The mystic told the woman to return, and three weeks later, and only three weeks later, told the child, I too love sweets, and up till now I have never been able to give them up. So I could not advise you to stop. It would not have been honest. Well, in those three weeks I have tried, and now I have succeeded in not eating them. So now I can say to you, if even I, who am an old man with years of bad habits, have succeeded in giving up, you who are young can certainly do it. And the child promised not to eat any more. Remember, only experience has value and can make a difference. Words transmit truth only if they are based on experience. Yeah, this is why, you know, when we tell somebody, or when, it, when we have an opinion about something, or, or when we tell something, somebody something, uh, we are trying to wake them up or enlighten them about things that, you know, could be going on, right? Of course, about anything. Uh, if you use, uh, if you use uh, a fact to back it up, or somebody's experience, or your own experience, or, you know, it's written in the book that so-and-so said this. Or just, if you have an example to show uh, that that shows, uh, you know, experience, right? People are m much more high, highly likely to believe you. That's how they are. They don't believe you on, uh, wow, uh, Capricorn is just so smart. And Capricorn the other day told me to do this. Uh, you could be the smartest of the smart, but this is not how it works. People want facts uh, and kind of... Uh, yeah, they do. So let's see what we got. Let's get back. Let's get into this. And illusion, old wounds, and childhood. So you have the clock here, Capricorn, and you have the doll. There could be somebody from the past here who has, like, uh, kind of harmed you and ha has hurt you. And let's look at uh, Leslie uh, Harmon, or Marmon, I beg your pardon. And uh, she is all about seeking, taking care of each other, safety nets, and exile. Yeah, uh, I feel like she was, maybe she left because she was political. Mm-hmm. Uh, Leslie's works explores the, the tensions between the Southwest's diverse communities and the methods of healing. Wow. Her breakout novel, Ceremony, about a young, half-Pueblo, half-white man trying to recover from his service in World War II, attracted a major spotlight to Native American literature. So, Leslie Mormon Silco, uh, I believe, was uh, of Pueblo, which is uh, either, I don't, it could be, I think it's... Uh, Native, yeah, and I didn't know that they had, uh, they called themselves Pueblo, this particular tribe, okay, but maybe it's a mixed tribe, <clears throat> I'm not sure, of Pueblo, Mexican, European, and Cherokee ancestry. Very interesting, Leslie Mormon Silco identifies most with the Laguna Pueblo culture, okay, there we go, which holds a vital belief in the universe's interconnectedness. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she was, you know, there was some tension between, I believe, between, uh, understanding the divine or, you know, the true connection and maybe people were trying to say something like that, that she 
didn't know what she was talking about, and she clearly did. The book is showing up, right? The natives have a lot of healing. This is really interesting here. Yeah, I feel like they tried to debunk her healing, something like that. And uh, the book is showing up. This is hope and revelation, right? So maybe there's something being revealed. Let's get into this Capricorn. That was a long, uh, a long, right? And your past energy is the Two of Pentacles. Your challenge, Capricorn, is the Hierophant. So maybe somebody is married. This could be, this could be about career because the Hierophant is uh, an institution sometimes. Sometimes it is faith, though. Like, right, you know, uh, faith, maybe, maybe you need faith, uh, it just depends. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is what's challenging you, maybe you have no more faith. There is somebody from the past year that is, uh, that is part of your challenge, right, part of your fight for sure. So let's see what else we have. Your person's energy, King of Pentacles is their card. Yeah, is their current energy. So they are thinking of you too. I believe they are. And we have uh, the King of Swords is their desire. For me, your person's making a decision, unless, you know, they're dealing with uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. But this is usually the, des the King of Swords and the desire it has to do with either of those. And their challenge is the Knight of Wands. It could be to take action. Mm -hmm. It's really an interesting reading. I feel like it is. So let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. Uh, in the past, you were going back and forth. I feel like you were overwhelmed. I feel like you were on some level because your reading talks about uh, moving forward in life but kind of dealing with overwhelming issues, kind of, yeah. And the, uh, which we all do, but this reading is, you know, we all have and we all do at times, but this reading is clear. You have the Magician reversed and the King of Wands. So you're dealing with a fire sign, most likely, Capricorn, or maybe this air sign down here. Uh, you could be definitely dealing with uh, Aries Leo Sag or Gemini Aquarius or Libra here. But right away is the King of Wands, so maybe this is your person. They could be Aries as well. I feel like in the past you were like wondering whether you could manifest something with them. Yeah, I feel like that's what this reading is. And this reading is, uh, I feel like they did hurt you. And um, you could be doing your best maybe to clear your aura of this person. You could, mm -hmm. maybe you're going to communicate with this person. We do have the communication card here. We do. And, you know, with your with you showing up in your person's current energy, this these cards over here, you guys, uh, talk about, you know, uh, the other woman. I feel like you are the other woman, Capricorn. You are like the Empress. And maybe the challenge is that they are married. This is your challenge, you hear a fit. Here they are. I feel like they're thinking all about you. Maybe you're this brown-haired woman. Not really sure. Over here, she's kind of a, uh, kind of a, I don't know, kind of a blonde. Uh, looks like a color, though, right? <laughs> but, you know, this is eating away at somebody. And then we have, you know, the thoughts card is clear. Somebody, this man painted a picture of this woman so he could look at her picture and, and think about her. It's really kind of it, right? Uh, anybody who does that kind of stuff is really kind of uh, into somebody else, right? You're not going to take the time to paint a picture. That's kind of how I see that card. Uh, just so you can think about somebody. No, you're not. Unless you're really into them. And your person might be Leo. Right now you have the, the Strength card and the Queen of Cups. And this Queen of Cups could be a Pisces or could be a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio. But you might love them. And you are using your courage here. But let's see. This is... Uh, this is, you are kind of going through something really, um, I would say, uh, not just complicated, but deep. Yeah, you're, you, this is deep about this person, but it's also deep about, I feel like, ab about your career as well and your life in general. The tower, you could be in the tower about this person. Yeah, they might be Leo, they might be a water sign, but I feel like you are in the tower about them. Mm-hmm. And maybe you were, you know, you were thinking if you could ever manifest something, maybe they, uh, maybe they have to end something possibly here because you were going back and forth about whether or not you could uh, manifest. And over here is the Hierophant in the challenge. So, you know, maybe you were thinking uh, possibly for some of you guys, um, you know, if they are ending something, you could have been in that kind of energy. This can also talk about Capricorn uh, that you are like... Uh, kind of just, you know, in the tower here, I feel like you are moving forward. There's, there could be a choice here that you are kind of thinking about, right? Because in the past, you were wondering if you could manifest with them. Maybe there is some choice that needs to be made, right? Like, 
a conscious choice, right? Like, uh, you know, I have to do this in order to move forward with Capricorn. Uh, it's possible they have to walk away from another situation. Uh, it's possible they hurt you and, you know, just something may, may have to, there could be some type of a choice uh, that you are in the tower about. Maybe it's a choice they have to make. But you seem to me that you are moving forward here, uh, although you have been kind of through some maybe a rough patch with this person. And might, maybe not even with them, maybe just uh, on your own about them. I feel like it's more like that. Let's get one more card and the Three of Wands. So we have the Two and the Three of Wands here. Mm -hmm. I feel like you've been in the tower here about if you were ever going to move forward with them. I feel like that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's look at the Hereford, and this is your challenge, Capricorn. Could be Taurus Energy, Six of Cups. And this is what I said this reading is about. It's about somebody from your past, right? We have the clock right here, right, Capricorn, unless you're a clockmaker. I really love these kind of clocks. I feel like they're super expensive, and, uh, mm hmm. Uh, but they're, you know, they are of the old world, right? They are um, very interesting. They said that the clock is based off the zodiac wheel. Mm hmm. Yep. So, can't really even talk about that. So, we have the. Uh, we have the Ace of Cups right here, Capricorn. This is your challenge. You, this is what you really want. And you really want this brand new beginning with this person. And, you know, clearing your aura here, Capricorn, you could be trying to clear your aura because you feel like this person is maybe cluttering your thoughts and uh, maybe holding you back from moving forward, maybe uh, professionally, just slowing you down at work or something like that. You could be... And the Four of Cups is what you are desiring or hope for with the High Priestess. I just feel like, you know, I feel like you want them to reject somebody else, possibly. Because this is a card of unhappiness and rejection and disappointment. It is. It could be a missed opportunity. It can be the Four of Cups with the High Priestess. Yeah. Let's see what else we have. The Page of Wands. Mm -hmm. I feel like you want a new path with somebody and uh, maybe you felt rejected by them. It could be. Sometimes that Four of Cups shows up. Uh, so sometimes it's not so much the desire. It talks about things that are connected to your desires, right? I feel like you do want a new path with them, the Page of Wands. Uh, and you are, for sure you do. Here's the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups in your challenge. For sure, you want that. And your your fear is the Six of Pentacles, Capricorn, showing up with the Moon card. So, you know, you could be uh, fearing some type of Pisces or Cancer. It's like as a person, right? The Queen of Cups is over here. And um, mm -hmm. you look like you are doubting, though, that you're ever really going to have anything give and take with them right here. Any kind of real kind of, uh, kind of cooperation or equal kind of uh, equal union where it is based on you know mutual respect and give and take things like that you look like you're doubting you're going to have that and that's what the moon is too doubts and fears i feel like you are doubting that yeah mm -hmm. because they're here you are capricorn this could be this is eating away at you i feel like it is because you are the other woman here's the other woman right with her bare breasts and uh, let's see what else we have, though. Let's look at your person's energy. Let's get another uh, deck here for them. They are uh, in the Seven of Wands energy with the Two of Wands. So they are really overwhelmed, I feel like, about making a choice about, I feel like it's to move forward with you. And if they are not overwhelmed about a choice, they are just overwhelmed and at a crossroads in their life. What they want is the King of Swords. So it could be about a choice, right? And this could be about to move forward with you. And I feel like these cards could be, you know, we already have the two of wands in their energy, and so so you as well, right? So you. <laughs> Knight of Swords, this is them. This is their energy uh, showing up here. Could have been the recent past, but this is their energy, and uh, they are overwhelmed about taking action to move forward in their life. And here you are right next door, and so we know this is about you, yeah. And we have the Nine of Cups. You are their wish, Capricorn, as usual. And, you know, I feel like you... I feel like you know that intuitively. Like, you know that you are this person's real wish. And they're still... You're like, well, where are you? Right? Yeah, okay, a donut head, right? Where are you? <laughs> Which is empty and full of uh, air and sugar, right? Let's see what we have, you guys. The King of Swords now in this deck. 
Uh, so right here, here they are. They look like they are making a decision right, decision right now about you because you're their wish. And if they are not making a decision, they are definitely uh, analyzing this. Yeah, they are. Let's see what else we have. And we have the Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're there happily ever after. I feel like you could be their wish, Capricorn, right here, and they might be married to somebody. And if they are married to somebody with this here fit in the challenge, this person is not their happily ever after, but they might have... Uh, kids with that person right here on the card. Let's get one more card for Capricorn. And the Sun card's reversed. It could be Aries. I mean, not Aries, Leo. Because right away, the King of Wands is showing up here. Uh, and they, Aries or, I feel like they're, I mean, I don't see Sagittarius in this reading yet, right? I don't. But we have Aries and Leo a lot. And they, I feel like your person is unhappy. Yeah, here they are. Here they are in the seven wands of wands energy in the past, and the sun card is reversed. So it's, it, you know, I feel like they are a fire sign, and that uh, maybe they're an air sign, but they could be Leo. But I just feel like they are definitely unhappy. Their challenge is a knight of wands with the ace of cups. They have to take action. Your challenge is the ace of cups as well, Capricorn. So somebody loves somebody, right? Somebody loves somebody, and the other somebody loves the other somebody. Yeah, that's what's going on here, all right? <laughs> you could be saying, wow, that was some uh, really poor uh, poor articulation on your part. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was really poor English. <laughs> and we have the devil, Capricorn, in their challenge. They have to take action in order to have the brand new opportunity in love with you. You guys are uh, both loving each other. Yeah, this is really true. And kind of the sad part, Capricorn, is that you are the one, is that you are both challenged. Yeah, you are both challenged in this reading about really loving each other. LMG, right? Because I feel like there's somebody in the way, and it's probably their wife or their husband, yeah, for sure. And their desire is, uh, mm -hmm. and they could have fear here in their challenge to have this new beginning with you. Or this just could be you, right? But it is definitely their challenges to take action. They could be a fire sign. This could be you too. But it is to take action. It is. It's to take action. We have the two of wands over here, which is about moving forward in action. And then, you know, it's to take action and have this with you. They could be in fear here as well, right? That's what I was trying to say. Page of Swords reversed is what they want uh, with the King of Swords. Mm -hmm. To me, this is showing up. This could be this energy where I really already want to make up my mind already. The Page of Swords, uh, usually reversed, is talking about somebody who kind of doesn't need any more investigation. They don't need any more information. They don't, like they already know what they need to know. This person has the King of Swords and the Page of Swords reversed. For me, they want to make a decision on something they already, they have made up their mind about, but... It's not to take action. They have made up their mind on the emotional part. I know what I want. Yeah. So let's see what else we have, Capricorn. Nine of Pentacles. See, they want to be single. You know, Capricorn, uh, I hope this person really leaves this person. I, I mean, I hope that they become single. But this has been going on a, a very long time. And, you know, for some of you guys, it will be real, and for some of you, it won't. And this is just kind of, you know, what this is, right? Only kind of you guys will uh, kind of know here, uh, because it's a general reading, right? Yeah, and uh, but this is going to happen for somebody, it is, right? We have to, for sure it is. And the Eight of Wands is what they want with the Hangman reversed. So they want change and forward movement. They might want fast movement, <laughs> right? And because they've been going slow, slow, slow. The Hangman is reversed. The Three of Cups reversed. Mm -hmm. For me, they want change, and they're unhappy, and uh, this is what they are fearing. Wow, they're fearing change. I feel like they could be fearing change, that you're, that you're not going to make a sacrifice for this, and that you're, they're not going to be able to reunite with you. Three of Cups reversed. OMG. This is their doubt. <clears throat> Maybe they're with Pisces. Let's get one more card. The World card reversed. Your person could be afraid, possibly, that, like, you're not interested anymore. It's possible. Because this is typically unfinished business showing up in their doubts and fears. Yeah, right here. The world card is their doubts and fears. 
They could be fearing there's no longer any unfinished business between you guys. In other words, you're not really interested. And on some level, I feel like you are trying to clear your, like, you really love this person, but you're trying to clear them. You're trying to clear their aura. Yeah, I feel like you are. So we're going to end this Capricorn, and we're going to go to the extended. And we are going to uh, look at this person's current situation. The spread is going to be for them because we are uh, doing our do, our duly, our civic duty here. No, our uh, our tarot duty. And we're going to look at their challenges, what they want, what, they're, what they fear. One more time. We're going to see how this person feels about you, how they are looking at the situation, uh, what you don't know about them, and, of course, their outcome. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pull a rune for you guys. Yeah, we're going to pull one of the runes from uh, from the rune divination. You guys, thanks so much for joining me here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And I really want to see this extended because I feel like these, these, move, these readings move, they move forward, like, a little bit. Like, well... Um, they, because this person now has made up their mind that they really want to be with you. They just have to take action, right? Which is better than, you know, well, do I really want to go be with Capricorn or not? I really love them. I mean, there's different, you know, uh, kind of steps that you take for a calculated decision, right? Not like a kind of decision where I'm going to ride my bike today. Now, it's not a casual uh, calculated decision, is it? No. Uh, this is critical thinking on your person's part, right? Which is kind of what we all need to do. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. God bless. And uh, they're all super affordable. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.